Smite is a really fun game, but it's hard to get good quickly. There are a few small things that you can do immediately that will massively increase your skill level. These are some things that I wish I knew when I first started playing, or even within the first few years of playing. Things that could have helped me avoid painful, painful losing streaks. So let's get into a few things that you can do right now to get better at Smite that I've learned over the years, things that I've asked people in my Discord who are grandmasters, and things I hear big pro players talk about. Now, for some of you who are already experienced players, you've probably heard a few of these things, but it's always good to hear them again because I can tell you, I forget these things too. Pentakill, let's go! First thing I want to talk about is something you guys have probably all dealt with. It's pretty prevalent in the Smite community, which kind of sucks and I hope will change in the future. And that's not feeding into toxicity with teammates. We've all felt the rage build up inside of us after a team fight didn't go our way. Or perhaps when you got ganked in your lane when no one said enemy missing. It can feel like you want to blame someone on your team for what just happened. And we all know that someone will blame you for something that probably wasn't your fault. Come on, stop being toxic, bro. We just having fun. Fuck you, he said. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. But if you give into that and you start feeding into the toxicity, around and around it will go. Nothing will get better. Nothing gets done and you probably won't win the game. Most people who get toxic in smite matches will spend more time typing paragraphs in the chat instead of grouping up and fighting as a team to try and come back. We've all had those games where you meet really cool people as your teammates and you guys group up and have an awesome comeback. Sometimes that's a better feeling than even winning the entire game the whole time because you know you worked hard for it as a team. My advice for new players who don't want to deal with this, as soon as someone starts to get toxic in the chat, calling people out on the team for no reason, maybe it was their fault, maybe it wasn't, doesn't matter. You can always just mute them. Or something I do is I kill them with kindness. I just be super nice and say, come on, group up, man. We can do this. We can win. Usually they tell me to go fuck myself, but there's nothing we can do about that. So we just continue to play. Two pentakills. Guys, I got two pentakills in one game. Next thing I want to talk about is something I really struggle with at the start of Smite because it was a bad habit that I wasn't doing and it's really hard to break bad habits. Smite is no different. Placing wards in Conquest especially, but other game modes too. I used to always forget to place my wards and it's so dumb because they give you a free one now in Smite. They didn't used to do that, but they do now and you have to be using it. So if you're in Conquest and you're playing in a lane, you should always be placing your wards on the sides where you think a jungler might come and gank you or where someone might steal your buff. Even if you don't ping someone with that ward, it's letting you know where they're not. Still information. You know they're not over here near your jungle camp, so they might be over there by theirs. Can't tell you how many times I've saved my own life and able to back up into the tower because I know their jungler is coming over to gank me. It's also incredibly useful because someone might be out of position on the enemy team deep in your jungle and your ward can call that out and get your team an easy kill. Like I said, I made it a bad habit. I've been conscious of it in every game and I've definitely gotten better at it. And you can too. To the wall. Oh! The next thing I want to talk about is building. This is something that can be extremely complicated for new players. It's very in-depth and there's a lot of items to choose from. Not to mention each item has its own base stats with a passive that you need to learn. It took me a while to get good at building because I would just listen to my friends and not actually learn anything. So my advice for building for someone who's new or doesn't know that much about the items yet and is just kind of going off what they think is to start looking things up. There's no shame in that. There's great website resources like Smite Fire, Smite Guru, and Smite Source you can show you builds for certain gods and certain roles. Another great way is using YouTube videos. Watch your favorite creator like Incon, Weekin, or Zapman, or even me if you want to check it out. I post a lot of carry videos and you can find some awesome crit meta builds in there which I love. But another piece of this advice is not to just copy those builds you see, it's actually starting to pay attention to what the item names are so you can learn them for yourself. Once you learn what an item name is, you can check it out, read the passive, and read the base stats. So you can find some good items that you like with a certain god, let's say Hades for example, and you can put in the god builder items that you might want to build. It doesn't need to be the exact build that you go every single time because that's going to change, but at least get a few items in there that you know you like with Hades, that you've seen Incon use with Hades, or maybe that you've tried before and worked well. Learn those items, learn their names, learn the passives. My suggestion is to go into the god builder and throw in some good items in there just so you can see them. They're right there for you. If you want to use them, you can. You don't have to. Something else I failed to do when I was starting Smite was I didn't experiment enough. I was kind of scared. I wasn't very good at the game. I was playing with people who were better than me and I didn't want to suck in front of them. So I would try a few gods. I would find one I liked like Poseidon and I would play them to death. Build the same thing over and over and over no matter who I was playing against. There is time for that, but you should test out what you really like first. And not only gods, but also game mode. I really just played Joust when I first started because I liked playing with my two friends and it was perfect 3v3. So for the first two years, I played too much Joust, a little bit of Arena and a little bit of Assault. 
So when I started Conquest, my knowledge of the game mode was so far behind everyone else. This definitely limited me, and the small god pool that I had built over those two years limited to what roles I could play in Conquest. So yes, it's fun to play a god you really like and that you're good with, but don't be afraid to lose. Don't be afraid to have a bad game. Even if you play your best god, you could get destroyed. That happens to everyone. A good rule of thumb from one of the Grand Masters in my Discord, play every god at least twice. That should be your goal for your first year of Smite, maybe. And another goal would be every week to play every role in Conquest at least once. Something that I still forget to do because I love carry so much that I always play it when I'm on stream. I'm not the best jungler. I don't play the most assassins. When I get jungle, I want to re-roll. Sometimes I should just test it out and deal with it. Even if it doesn't go well, you'll learn. There was a great saying from one of my viewers in my stream the other night. He said, you either win or you learn only lose when you quit trying. Now that's a little cheesy and cliche, but it's so true, especially for a game like Smite. The last thing I want to talk about in this video is a little different than the other ones I said. When I started, I played with my best friend and my brother, and we'd sit in the same room with three PS4s, three TVs, and we'd sweat our asses off in a little box. Now that was really fun, but it definitely limited my experience. Like I said, I only played Joust, and I'd only play with them. I never experienced on my own. I never played with people online, people that could have taught me things. I could have partied up with them, learned to play Conquest, learned different gods, asked about building, but I didn't do any of that, and it really limited me for those first two years. And so after that, I was just playing catch up. My biggest suggestion to you, if you're out there you might have people in real life to play with you might have friends that you know online to play with but join a community of people who play smite that are friendly non-toxic gamers it's something that i've strived to build since i started streaming and making content for smite because i know it's lacking there needs to be more communities for new players medium players and high level players all play with each other especially those who are just starting out so if you want to join my discord feel free it's called Valhalla gamers and there's so many people in there where you can ask about building and ask to party up even when i'm not live on twitch playing with viewers there's so many people in there. Just the other day, we had a kid who's only been playing Smite for a few weeks, joined the Discord, really using it to learn and as a resource. In my last stream, I hopped in a game with him and he did great. I was super impressed that he was already playing Conquest, already kind of knew how to build and was doing well with a god. Also, it's just fun to meet new people. I know that sounds kind of corny, but it's true. And since I've made the Discord and started streaming, I've met so many awesome people through this who constantly teach me more about Smite and how to get better and just keep me excited about the community. The Smite community overall, they keep me excited. They keep me in the know. I also threw a Smite tournament for everyone in my Discord. 8,000 gem prize pool. It was 3v3 in Joust. I got to go into spectator mode and commentate the whole thing. It was a five and a half hour stream. I cut it down into an awesome 30 minute movie style edit you can check out right here. And feel free to sign up for the next one and maybe you can win some gems. All you have to do is join the Discord. I'll see you in there.